Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I, I ran into an interesting situation with a GE Mac, and the customer is stating that they believe the device has got a bad internal back end, which is attached to the motherboard. In order to change it out, you have to reconfigure. It takes a lot of time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, I've long since said that medical devices always break where the user interfaces with the device. And in case like this. It's going to be either your control panel, the display, the cables, or the ports. Ports are always getting damaged because of rough users. So when somebody says that a modem, an external modem on a GE Mac is not powering up, yeah, you have a couple options. One of them is find another GE Mac that's got an external modem and try plugging it into the same port to see if it lights up. If it does, congratulations. You have a perfectly fine GE external modem on the other unit. You have a bad modem on this unit. But how else can you do it? If you're in the field, believe it or not, GE has a lot of tools that might be a little hidden, but you can still find them, which allow you to do tests on your ports. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. All right. So this is my GE Mac that was just brought over. It's got some issues, they say. Let's go ahead and power it up. So it currently does not have the external modem but I do have ports, right? The ports physically look okay. So if the ports aren't physically damaged, then there's already a pretty good chance that it's probably okay. We're gonna go into the diagnostics menu. So I'm gonna go down to more, more, more. I'm just kidding, guys. We gotta go to the main menu, which is this one right here. All right, more, okay. So we gotta come to this tab right here. This is system setup. Boop. And Everybody knows the, the password for this system. Boop. We have to push enter. That takes you to this cute little menu. Then we have to press shift and F5. It pulls up a whole nother dialog box. It says service password. P R O. D, enter, and that takes us into the super secret system diagnostics menu, and this is where the key is really going to happen. So a lot of the things that we're going to do are going to be in the communications test in order to test the ports, all right? There are a couple other things that you could do, but COM tests are the most important. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to test the loop back of the port. And what this is going to do is it's going to send data out one pin and it's going to receive it in a pin. And that's going to test the RX and the TX of the little serial. And how we do that, I've got a couple of guys down here. You can take a resistor or anything. All right. So I just took these are just <laughs> light little light sensors. I twisted the leads and I'm going to come over here to Comport Loop Pack. And let's test. Com one. Actually, no, let's let's test the modem port. Okay. And it tells you com two connections connect TX pin three to pin five of serial out two. So we got com port one, we got com port two. And in com port two, it's saying pin three and pin five. Oops, come on. Definitely more difficult to do with uh, one hand. OK, so if you can see what I'm doing, I'm connecting in the middle row the two edge pins and I'm shorting them out. That's it. Let me come back over here. And it tells you exactly what to do. Press any key to continue. So we're going to press a key. Now look what it's doing. It's going to test at different baud rates, which is different speeds. And if the port has got a faulty chip as it moves up the, bo the baud, it's going to start throwing errors. You can see it's testing at different speeds and they're passing. How crazy, right? And that tells me that that port is absolutely fine and that the hardware connected to the port is the problem. 9600. If you get past 9,600, you're actually doing pretty good. 
Yeah, you can see this is going to pass. No problem. One more. Fascinating. I love that this is built in. You just got to find the pin out, which I've already done for you. So there you go. No excuses, right? That little port back there is called a DIN, D-I-N. It's a mini DIN, and that would be a female mini DIN. So right here, went to all different speeds. It closed the port, and it passed. So then you just press a key to exit. So these right here are mini DIN female ports. You can find the pinout for them. A is a different but one and two are mini den females. And they're also uh, eight pin mini den females. So now I'll just remove that guy. My port is absolutely fine. So guys, that is interesting, isn't it? They give you the tools so that you can test it out. And that way there you can make the judgment call in the field without having to bring it back. And you actually don't even need another modem. There is another option on that very menu that says external modem test. So you can run a test while the modem's connected to see what it's doing. But the most important is probably the COM port loopback test, which if you have any sort of little piece of wire, which I, I like using little resistors and stuff because they're just everywhere, right? And uh, just twist the legs together so it creates a dead short. Pop them in those two edge pins of the middle row and run your test. And if it passes, now you got a bigger problem most likely it's going to be the external modem because they're known to be faulty. Now, the back end of these uh, GE Max, I've only seen that changed out a couple times ever, and that's usually from physical damage. So there you go, guys. Just want to show you a quick little test on the little GE Mac so that you may be able to test your devices in the field. I know that these guys are no longer supported by the manufacturer, but that's why it's all the more important for you guys to be able to properly test your equipment so that you're not needlessly throwing out a perfectly good device. Thanks for watching, guys.